At this point, I've showcased many general purpose AI agents like Manus AI or Deep Agent or even Suna AI, which is open source. These are all impressive deep reasoning agents capable of practically doing it all, from generating PowerPoints to coding full stack apps to even controlling your computer. But there's a catch to these tools. They aren't free and in fact, they come with a pretty steep pricing. This is the pricing for GenSpark and this is the pricing tier for Manus AI. You can see they charge $200 a month just to access their pro tier, which is where they unlock their high quality agentic mode that's capable of executing complex as well as multi-step tasks. This brings me to a reason for today's video where I'd like to introduce to you a fully free open source alternative to Manus that is private, local, and just as agentic as the paid deep agents we've covered on this channel. Allow me to introduce Agentic Seek. Agentic Seek is a 100% local alternative to Manus AI. It's a voice enabled AI assistant that can autonomously browse the web, write your code, and plan or execute complex tasks, all while you keeping your data fully private and stored on your device. It's specifically built for local reasoning models, meaning it runs entirely on your hardware. There's no cloud required, no third-party servers, no data leaks, just pure private local intelligence. And what's also great is that Agentic Seek comes with a visual UI, so you can watch your agent's workflow and progress unfold step by step in real time. Before we move on forward with today's video, allow me to introduce today's video sponsor, Zapier. Ever wish your AI could reply to emails or summarize meeting notes automatically? Well, let me show you a little AI magic with Zapier and Perplexity. I personally used to spend hours replying to form submissions, chasing meeting insights, or summarizing client feedback. It was quite repetitive and slowed down my workflow. But now with the new Zapier plus Perplexity integration, I automated all of that. Zapier triggers real-time events like new forms of responses or emails and Perplexity generates smart conversational replies, summaries, as well as insights. By combining Perplexity with Zapier, you can auto-generate smart responses like summaries or insights using chat completion, which turns custom prompts into high-quality conversational replies. You can trigger it with real-time events like emails coming in or calendar updates, and then you can send outputs straight into Slack, Notion, Google Docs, or even Gmail. Here's how I use it. When someone fills out this form, Zapier kicks in, sends the data to Perplexity with a custom prompt, and boom, a clear summary or reply gets sent to my Notion workspace and prepped for Gmail. It's like having a research assistant on call 24-7. So if you're ready to save time, spark insights, and make your app work smarter together, try the Perplexity integration with Zapier. Start automating today with the link in the description below. With that thought, let's get right back into the video. It has the same capabilities as Manus, but while being fully local and private, it can browse the web, it can autonomously code with the tool agents. There's also smart agent selections planning and executing complex tasks, as well as having a voice enabled feature. Just take a look at it live in action. This is where it is being requested to search for the Agentic Seek project, learn what skills are required, then open up the CV uh, file that was uploaded, which has the candidates, and then tell me which candidates match best for this project. So you can see that it is capable of deploying multiple agents. There's an editor view and a browser view, and from here, you can see that it is capable of making changes on your computer, opening files, and then at the end, it is able to draft up a script that has all the candidates best fit for this project. And you can see that this is the actual MD file that has all the contents listed for finding the right candidate. Before we get started, I just wanna mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. So now that we know what Agentic Seek is capable of doing, let's actually go ahead and install it. Now, before we actually get to that, you're going to need to make sure you have the prerequisites fulfilled. Make sure you have Git installed. This is going to be used to clone the repository. Just go to configure the API keys and the environment variables. Make sure you have Python installed, Docker desktop, as well as the, the Chrome driver. Once you have the prerequisites fulfilled, make sure you follow along. If you're on Windows, I'm going to be using 
WSL. So for this case, I'll open up WSL and I'll make sure Docker desktop is also running in the background. Now, once I have opened up the command prompt, I'm going to go and clone the GitHub repository. And this is by simply pasting in this command within the command prompt. Once that's finished cloning, get into the Agentic Seek folder by typing in CD Agentic Seek. Then you want to create your environment example file. So this is where we're going to be then setting our environment variables. Now there's a couple of things that you can do. You can use open source models by configuring Olama. There is actually a guide that showcases how you can set this up and how you can use a local provider. There's also the ability to even use different providers like LM Studio or even something from like uh, Open Router so that you can get a free API. Now, Open Router provides a lot of free models and you can actually get their API completely for free if you have an account. There's so many free models that are capable of doing a lot of things. And if you are to find a deep reasoning free model like the Quen 3, it is going to definitely benefit you a lot when you're using it with Agentic C. Next, you want to go ahead and open up VS Code or whatever ID you use, and you want to then set your environment variables. You can set the provider like I mentioned with the guide below, but make sure you set it for whatever model you're using. Next, after you have set your environment variables, you want to create your virtual environment, and this is pretty important so that you can contain this within an isolated environment. You can use Python 3 to create this, and once you have created the virtual environment, make sure you uh, go ahead and activate it with the following command. And that's by just simply pasting it in within VS Code. And you'll see you have now activated the Agentic Seek virtual environment. Next, you want to go and install the packages. So this is where we're going to be installing it for Linux since we're using a WSL. So paste in this command and it is going to ask for my password. And then it will then work on installing all the packages for me. And it looks like it has finished installing everything. Now, keep in mind, whenever you want to use Agentic Seek, you want to make sure you first activate your virtual environment. Then you need to start the required services with whatever operating system you have. So if you're on Windows, you want to start it with the following command. If you're on Mac OS or Linux, use the sudo command. And then you can either run it through your command prompt, or you can have it so that you can start the backend and run the web interface, which will start on your local host. So this is where we're going to then paste in the Python 3 API.py command so that it starts it up within our local host. And within a couple of seconds, it will start it up over here. And there we go. We now have it fully opened up with the UI and the backend running. So if we actually take a look at it, you can see the backend is running at the moment. And then we have the front end running with Docker. So let's now go in and talk with the AI. You have the computer view, which showcases the editor view, all the tools being used, and then the browser view, which showcases all the actions that it will take. So I've been testing it out. And in this case, it was able to navigate to my website. I told it to go to World of AI, and there we go, we're on it. And now you can actually execute various sorts of tools to like scraping contents from a website or downloading certain things or verifying all your sources. It is something that it can do it quite ideally within a couple of minutes if you're working on scraping content from multiple websites. So my next prompt, I'm going to have it go to the World of AI YouTube channel. And you can see right now it is working on searching for the channel itself on YouTube. It isn't going to use any tools yet, but I'm going to have it sort the most popular videos. And let's see how well it is in terms of taking on this task. And there you go. You can see it's on my channel right now, and it is going to sort through all the most popular videos. It is, I think, going to click on the playlist and it will sort it out for me. And it was able to actually successfully load out all the, the most popular videos in order, ranking from the top one all the way to top 10. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But those are just simple web browsing examples. There's so much more to this where you can have it execute various tools to work on automating the development of full stack apps or having it do re deep research to plan and execute various sorts of research projects. There's so much more to this. So I highly recommend that you take a look at it with the link in the description below. It's easier to install than Suna, in my opinion, and it has a bit more capabilities 
and more flexibility to use other providers. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value out of it. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel, follow me on the newsletter, as well as join our Discord. Follow me on Twitter, and lastly, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.